Hello students. Today I am here to explain some more questions of chapter 1 exercise 1.2. Let's start with our first question, question number 7. A merchant had rupees 78,592 with her. She placed an order for purchasing 40 radio sets at rupees 1200 each. How much money will remain with her after the purchase? In this question, they have given in the starting they have given that the merchant is having rupees seventy eight thousand five hundred ninety two with her. Let's let us write the first line. Total money merchant had equals to. They have given in the first line that the merchant is having total amount as 78,592. Now come to the next line. They are saying she placed an order for purchasing 40 radio sets. She wants to purchase 40 radio sets at rupees 1200 each. They have given the amount of one radio set is rupees 1200. Let us write cost of one radio set is equals to rupees 1200 and how many radio set is she purchasing 40 so we'll calculate the cost of 40 radio sets cost of 40 radio sets for calculating the co cost of 40 radio sets, first of all, we will check the cost of one radio set. It is rupees 1200 and we have to calculate the cost of 40 radio set. What we are going to do for calculating the cost of 40 radio set, we will multiply 1200 with 40. We will multiply them and ans answer will be 48,000. Now next, let's come to the next part of the question. Now they are asking how much money will remain with her after the purchase. This is the total amount that the merchant is having. This much amount is required to calculate 40 radio sets. And we have to calculate the remaining amount, remaining amount that she will ha had. Next line. Remaining amount equals to for calculating the remaining amount we will subtract both the numbers why this is the total amount that the merchant was having and this much amount will be used by her for the um, for purchasing 40 radio sets so 78,592 minus 48,000 we are going to subtract them and ans answer will be Two nine five zero three. So, this is the total amount that will remain with her. It is rupees thirty thousand five hundred ninety two. Now, let's come to the next question. Now let's come to the question number 8. In question number 8, they are saying a student multiplied 7236 by 65 instead of multiplying by 56. By how much was his answer greater than the correct answer? In this question, they have given that the student has multiplied the number 7236 with 65 instead of multiplying with 56. It means he has to multiply the number with 56 but by mistake he has multiplied it with 65. Now next part of the question is by how much was his answer greater than the correct answer. We have to calculate the difference between the wrong answer and the correct answer. First of all let's calculate both the answer. First will be the wrong answer. Wrong answer will be 7, 2, 3, 6, 7,236 7, multiplied by 65 because they have said that this number he has to multiply it with 56 but by mistake he has multiplied with 65 so it will be the wrong answer. Let's multiply them. It will be 
फोर लैक सेवेंटी थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड फोर्टी तो दिस विल बी योर रॉन्ग आंसर नेक्स्ट इज योर करेक्ट आंसर फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग द करेक्ट आंसर वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू वील मल्टीप्लाई द सेम नंबर सेवन टू थ्री सिक्स सेवन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड थर्टी सिक्स विद द करेक्ट नंबर दैट इज फिफ्टी सिक्स वी हैव मल्टीप्लाइड वील मल्टीप्लाई बोथ ऑफ दैम एंड आंसर विल बी फोर लैख फाइव थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड फोर लैख फाइव थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटीन Now they are saying by how much was his answer greater than the correct answer. We have to calculate by how much his wrong answer was greater than the correct answer. For this, we will calculate the difference. Difference of both the answers. For calculating the difference, it means we are going to subtract them. The greater number will be four lakh seventy thousand three hundred forty minus the smaller number will be four lakh five thousand two hundred sixteen. Let's subtract them. Four, two, one, five, six. so the difference between both the answers is 65124 now let's come to the next question now let's come to our question number 9 in question number 9 they are saying to stitch a shirt 2 meter 15 cm cloth is needed out of 40 meter cloth how many shirts can be stitched and how much cloth will remain in the first line of the question they are saying to stitch a a shirt means to stitch a single shirt 2 meter 15 cm cloth is needed so let us write the first line cloth sorry cloth needed for a shirt they have given in the question 2 meter 15 cm but here the problem arises that the number is given with two units first number is with meter and another is with centimeter so what we are going to do we are going to either convert meter into centimeter or centimeter into meter i'm going to convert meter in centimeter we know that 1 meter is equals to 100 centimeter so 2 meter will be 200 centimeter so our number it means your 2 meter will be 200 cm and 15 cm was already given so it will be the total cloth will be 200 plus 15 and it will be 215 cm it means the cloth needed for our shirt is 215 cm we have we have converted it in cm now let's come to the next line out of 40 meter cloth it means the total length of the cloth is 40 meter total length of cloth is equals to 40 meter but here this number is we have converted in centimeter and this number is given in meet, meter whenever we are solving in any question we have to keep this in mind that the number should be with the same unit it is having centimeter with it it is in meter so we will convert this number in centimeter again to convert into centimeter we will multiply 40 with 100 40 multiplied by 100 will be 4000 cm so the total length of the cloth will be 4000 cm now what they are asking how many shirts can be stitched from this total length of the cloth 4000 cm of cloth how many shirts can be stitched now in this question the problem is they have given the total length of the cloth that is 4000 cm and they have also given the length of the cloth needed for a single shirt for one shirt it is 215 cm we have to calculate how many shirts will be stitched from this total length so what we are going to do we are going to divide them the total 
cloth means 4000 will be divided with 215 let's divide them So it was not divided completely when we have divided 4000 with 215 we have got the question as 18 and the remainder is also there and it is 130 centimeter in this question they were asking that how many shirts will be stitched from this much length of the cloth from 4000 centimeter of the cloth we will write 18 shirts can be sorry stitched from 4000 centimeter cloth in the same question they have asked for one more thing they are asking how much cloth will remain how much of the cloth will remain when we were dividing this was the total length of the cloth and this was the cloth needed to stitch one shirt when we have divided the total length with 215 we have got the question as 18 it means the 18 shirts can be stitched from 4000 centimeter cloth we have got a remainder also 130 centimeter you know that 130 cannot be divided with 215 so this is the left number this is the left cloth left length of the cloth so we will write the line length of cloth left is equals to 130 centimeter 130 centimeter thank you